Howdy, Synoptic, or Raid here, and welcome back to an all-new video. Now, I know some of you all are in this, like, Halloween mindset, and for this Halloween mindset and mood, I wanted to fit the whole vibe and kind of make a spooky video, so today, I found one of the dumbest Roblox creepypastas ever, and I'm just gonna be reading through it. Now, if you're an OG on my channel, you'll remember that a few months ago, I made a video called The Dumbest Roblox Creepypasta, something like that, and basically, I had found, you know, pretty much the dumbest creepypastas. It was a pretty fun video to make, but when I was making that video, apparently I skipped over this one, and as you see from the title, it's about a cursed Roblox account. I'm gonna be real with you guys, I completely thought that creepypastas would end. I mean, I didn't think the Roblox creepypasta community was as alive as it is. I mean, I was checking the comments of this specific post, and there were people like posting from like a day ago saying, Oh, this is so scary. I guess I'm just skeptic about everything because personally, I'm a person that doesn't believe in stuff like ghouls and monsters and ghosts. I don't believe in spirits, none of that stuff, because, I mean, I'm a man of science, personally, I gotta see it to believe it. The probability for that type of stuff is just extremely low, but if you kind of have ghosts in your house, you know, just call up Ghostbusters or something. I guess I'm just gonna have to hop into the story. It's called Cursed Account, and it is on the Roblox Creepypasta Wiki. I think it was posted about a year or two ago, but yeah, guys, get your popcorn, pour yourself a drink, sit back, and enjoy. So I recently bought my daughter a used computer for her birthday. A family computer for her and I. She has always wanted one because it's better to have one to use, so everybody in the house could use it. I wasn't fond of purchasing computers from the store because of the price, but eventually I found this computer that fit my budget. It was cheap, old, utility Windows 7 computer that was pretty decent, but it was the computer tower, so I had to buy the monitor and keyboard myself. I'm just gonna throw in something for you guys real quick. Every time there are always creepy pastas. The grammar, it's not the best, so there's always like mistakes, I kinda just read through them, read them as they are, but it's low-key wacky because I'm not thinking that very literate people are out here, you know, writing Roblox creepypastas out of everything. The seller told me that a computer was recovered from a house fire that was an accident in his home, losing almost everything. Yeah, I don't think computers are gonna survive a goddamn house fire. I mean, what kind of computer is this man buying? Is this thing like charred? Is it just a blackened box? I mean, if my computer was in a house fire, this thing would be fried. I wouldn't be making videos. Goddamn Windows 7 computers, dude. They're like uh, refrigerators. They're like that one refrigerator in Indiana Jones, you know, when he went inside uh, in Nuketown. He went inside the refrigerator, the whole thing blew up and he survived. So that made me a bit skeptical that it would work. But the owner did prove that it worked. If it somehow didn't, he told me he'd accept a refund. So the computer is coming up in a few days and I have to mention something heartbreaking. He told me that his son, around 10 to 12 years old, didn't make it out. He told me his stuff might still be on the computer. I told the owner I was sorry for his loss and thanked him. I tried resetting the computer but I couldn't. There was no reset feature built in, so I would have to get a Windows disk that cost as much as the PC, so I just uninstalled some things I felt like I didn't need. There weren't that many programs installed anyway though. My daughter told me she loves to play Roblox, so I decided to download it on the computer to her. I found out it was downloaded already. Anyways, after this discovery, my daughter started playing and I carried on with my business. I couldn't stop thinking about the owner's kid, and it was stuck in my head all day. Around 11pm, my mind was going blank as if I was about to sleep, but then the daughter called my name. I went to check on her and her eyes fixed on the screen. She was staring at something, and her character was completely black. She told me that her avatar was a girl with purple hair. Maybe you're on the wrong account, I said. She somehow logged out and logged into another account, but it was the owner's kid who didn't log in out of their Roblox account before giving it to us. It was very late at night, so I made her log off for the night. Oh my god, guys! A cursed Roblox account! They didn't log out of it! Oh, gee willikers, I'm, I'm gonna dump my pants, guys! Oh, no! When I woke up early, I went to check the profile, and the account was called Can't Squeal 999 It was weird, and I'm guessing that's the kid's account. But why would he name himself that? Bro, what kind of kid do you have that would make their name Can't Squeal 999 Like... Is your kid into, like, killing mice and stuff? Because that probably means they're a serial killer. I took a screenshot of the account before logging out. My daughter got on the computer an hour later, and she logged into her account. And a few seconds later, she automatically joined a game. Oh my god, how is this even possible, guys? Okay, so apparently ghosts control Roblox's servers. Guys, apparently if you buy a computer that a dead kid used, it'll basically just, you know, have its Roblox account and it'll haunt you, I guess? I don't even know how this works. Here's the account, that's an actual account, I googled it, and yeah, it's a real account, Can't Squeal 999. The game was made by Can't Squeal 999, the same account she logged out of last night. Help was the game name. I was curious why someone would make a game called The Help. After this, when it loaded up, all you could see was black, and you could hear hellish noises. My daughter clicked the exit button many times until the monitor froze up. 
She let out a scream which scared the hell out of me, and I panicked and disconnected the computer. Oh no guys, Roblox application is not responding. <laughs> Are you sure it's not just lagging because it's a goddamn Windows 7 computer? After that, I didn't let my daughter play Roblox anymore. If you want to play this game for yourself, search him up with caution. I'll start making logs of what's happening to stay tuned for a while. So after the main story, a bunch of update logs are made, and basically they kind of update what happened after, you know, the whole situation with the spooky help game with hellish noises. I've been on the internet for god knows how long, and I'm kind of like desensitized to a lot of things because I have seen some really messed up stuff on the internet, and I don't understand. I mean, I guess I was a little kid. If they hear hellish noises, of course they're gonna like crap their pants. I probably would have too if I was a child. Okay, so this is the first update. I couldn't refund the computer, so I just kept it in my garage. Just a small update. I don't know what to do with this freaking computer. Update number two. I've been hearing weird noises at night, like crying, and I've been feeling some kind of presence. It's now getting louder and louder. I've also been experiencing power loss even though the whole neighborhood is lit up except mine. I'm pretty sure one day it will cease, but I've been dreaming about the figure. Wait, who's the figure? What is this writing? Like, when did this figure come up? The figure. Did we know about this? What? And I'm kind of scared. I've been shaking the noises off as something else, but today the sounds were different. Ooh, I started hearing some really deep voice laughing. I'll update when something more interesting happens. I also took a new picture of the profile. Okay, I'm gonna be real with you guys. I think there's a kid inside that computer. Maybe the kid didn't die in the fire and he's just been like living inside of the PC. But that's just a theory. A synoptic theory. Okay, no, I'm gonna stop. Next update. Sorry I haven't updated this. About my daughter. She's doing fine now. The doctors told me she experienced trauma of some sort and she got a therapist. She doesn't want to tell me what she saw in the game, and the therapist is very busy. After two damn months of this strange thing happening, I finally had the balls to turn the computer on. Let's go! Let's go! He got the balls, boys! He got the big balls to turn the computer on! That's what I'm talking about! Maybe the story's actually gonna get better, let's see this. It booted like normally, except something weird was changed that I noticed. I went on the Roblox page and it went to this sort of site. The webcam on the computer lit up, and I noticed it instantly. The computer turned off and stopped booting up. I threw it in the garbage. It's finally over. Yo, my boy's FBI agent connected to check up on him and this dude threw the computer out, bro. Like, if your webcam turns on, bro, that's just your FBI agent checking up on you. Ghosts don't exist, homie. Or it's actually the little kid trying to spy on you. Oh, this is the last update, guys. It's been a month. They've taken my daughter to foster- <laughs> They've taken your daughter to foster care? What did you do? Why would they take your daughter to foster care? I forgot to tell you guys. I did some research. I just found out that the child that was killed in the fire wasn't killed in a- Oh, wasn't killed in the fire. Okay. He was murdered by his own father? God damn! God damn! Good lord! And I guess he sold all of his belongings. One was his PC. I told him of what I was informed of a few hours ago by his email and he hasn't responded back. So you discovered that the guy that you bought a computer from was a murderer and you email him? Like, what would you even email? Like, oh hey, I just discovered you're a serial killer online. So uh, can I get a refund on that PC? Because, you know, I think the ghost of your kid lives in there. One day I want an actual good Roblox creepypasta. Something that will make people crap their pants, you know what I'm saying? But something that won't make you crap your pants is that playlist that just popped up on the bottom left of your screen. It basically includes all my newest Roblox commentaries on just different news, drama, and topics I find interesting. Also guys, it's been the kid living in his computer, I mean Synoptic, and I'll see you all in the next one.